Yo, what's going on? It's Nizion here, back with another FIFA 20 video for you guys. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can go from 1,000 coins to 100,000 coins very, very quickly without doing any SPCs in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. But before I get started in today's video, if you guys can hit the subscribe button as well as turn on post notifications to join the Nizion Nation, that'd be much, much appreciated. I'm on the road to 100,000 subscribers, so all support is greatly, greatly appreciated. And let's go ahead and get started in today's FIFA 20 video right here. So, if you guys are in a dilemma, maybe you're in mid-year of FIFA or watching this video down the line and are thinking that you want to make around 100,000 coins to maybe buy that new team or buy that extra addition to your ultimate team, I'll be showing you how you can go from 1,000 coins to 100,000 coins without doing any of these SPCs. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, it will be a little bit tough and it'll take you maybe upwards of like 48 hours to make this profit. And what I recommend you guys to do is start this method during like around Tuesday right before uh, the the next uh, rewards come out on Thursday as well as right before the new team of the week comes out. Now this will give you the highest potential of making the most amount of coins during this time. So that's why I'll be telling you guys to do it during then. So first you start off with your account, pretend this is a brand new account. What I first want you guys to do in the first step is go under bronze pack method and just start opening some of these bronze packs. And now while you're doing this bronze pack method, essentially what it is, is you're paying 400 coins for a very, very cheap pack right here and inside especially during the start of the game and even later on when EA releases brand new SPCs these players are actually gonna be worth way more than you actually think so right here May goes for around 200 coins and Mongazo goes upwards of 200 300 maybe and then we have this guy which might not be able to sell and let's go ahead and see some other players. Sometimes I recommend to check out some kits too, because it might be going for some price randomly. Maybe sometimes they might be extinct. I accidentally listed up that uh, kit right there. Let's go in and see how much Bird is worth. So as you can see right here, Bird is already worth, yeah, 200, 300 coins. So I'm gonna go ahead and list all three of these cards up right here. And I'm gonna be showing you that these cards actually do go ahead and sell after a whole hour. Now they do take a little bit to sell. Maybe they might not sell in an hour. I recommend to just relist them and do it again. And any of these other cards that you might not be able to use, if you don't want them in your club, just go ahead and discard them. There's no uh, real hurt in that. And now just do it again, do it a few times until you open a lot of packs, enough packs that gets you to around 10,000 coins. Because again, you start at around 1,000 coins anyways with FIFA 20 by just completing the start objectives. So let's go ahead and see right here. Yep, we went ahead and got a rare player in this pack, which is worth, okay, 600. Yeah, 600 coins, 400 coins. So as already right there, we got our money back. So I'm going to go ahead and list them for 400 coins. You'll be able to sell in an hour or so. Let's go ahead and list these two cards up right here. And this is basically the first method. So just go ahead and list up all of these cards that you get from the bronze pack method. And again, it'll take around an hour or two to sell all these cards and get you to around 10,000 coins. Now, once you're around 10,000 coins, now I'm gonna move on to the second method here. Again, we're not gonna use the squad building challenges section as I've talked about a lot in my other videos as the squad building challenges are very, very overpowered to be making coins. But again, if you complete all your SPCs, you're probably gonna be in a dilemma. So now we're gonna move on to the second method right here, which is the shadow and hunter camp style trading method. So what I recommend you guys to do is go into the shadow camp style right here or hunter both of them work very very well but i see that shadow works much better than the hunter so put uh, shadow as your camp style as well as quality as gold now if you went ahead and completed some of the objectives as well under your seasons you might be able to unlock some of these camp styles so if you have some tradable players maybe if you want to put them on and then check how much their price is on the market with that specific camp style they might go for a little bit more just in case if you have a little bit of untradeable shadow or hunter camp styles laying around in your club. So let's go ahead and check out how these golds are selling for. I recommend putting your min bid price to 2,000 and your max bid price to 5,000 because you're going to be sitting at around 10,000 coins and put your max buy at 10,000. And let's go ahead and see some open bids. Now, if you don't know what open bids are, I talked about it in my other videos. And essentially what they are is people that are bid warring, bid warring currently for a card such as right here, Gold Thorgan Hazard goes for 4-6 with a shadow. But that's not a good card because he is a shadow and he's an attacking player. 
So if you're a shadow card, you probably want to go for someone that's more of a defender. So I'm probably going to remove that from my transfer targets as that doesn't work very well. But if you look at some meta players, maybe from the Premier League or Serie A or something that have an open bid, those are going to be good cards. Like, for example, High Sag. He has great links. Napoli doesn't have a lot of fallbacks that are high rated. So that's probably a good shout right there. Let's go ahead and see some other cards right here. Uh, one more card that might have one that's a defender that goes for a decent price. Let's go ahead and find one probably in the next page. So it does take a little bit to find some of these. And also if you have footbin handy with you guys, that will also help as well. I just passed by someone. So yeah, Kondogbia right there is a very great shout. He's a very popular player. I'll also be leaving a link down below in the description of footbin.com and their popular spe uh, section in specific because that actually helps out a lot. So if you go under my target uh, transfer targets right here, you can see that I've also looked for uh, uh, Rose right here that got sold for 4.5 with the Shadow and High Sag again 2.7 and Kondogbia 2.7. So let's go in and check their prices normally with their bin. So Kondogbia with their bin. So we've seen him at 2.7 and he goes for around 3,000 coins. So you're going to be making not a lot of coins right there. But I've just seen one Kondogbia go for 2.5. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this card up for 2.5 and relist them for 3k. And that's some profit right there just by looking at the market. Let's go ahead and list them up. Hopefully you should sell right there. And now we're going to move on to the second method. Now, after doing the shadow and hunter camp style method, you should be getting around 10,000 more coins profit, which should give you a total at around 20 to 30,000 coins, depending on how much you grind out this method. So let's move on to the next method right here. Once you have 20 to 30,000 coins, get started by doing the single player draft. Now, the reason why I say doing the single player draft first is that when you do the single player draft, it's actually very easy for you guys to be making coins. Even if you're a mediocre player, just started FIFA a year or two ago, you can still be able to win the foot draft if you play on at least world class or professional. I recommend playing at least at world class. If you can't play on world class, maybe try brushing up on your skills and getting a little bit better at the game to be getting those rewards because if you're playing single player draft, it is much easier than doing online draft and probably 95% of the time you'll be winning the draft if you set it to a decent difficulty so just go ahead and win the draft at professional or world class professional you get a little bit less rewards and you might not get as good rewards compared to world class but as again you know you're still gonna get 10,000 15,000 coins back minimum by just discarding the packs that you go ahead and get but most likely you'll be able to make 5,000 coins profit from that which will get you to around 35 to 45,000 coins now say for example we'll be sitting at 45,000 coins now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next method here, which is a 10, 20, 40 method, a very commonly used method in Ultimate Team by a lot of different traders. So I'm going to go ahead and put the max, uh, sorry, minimum bid price to 10,000, max bid price to 20,000, and the max buy it now to 40,000. Now there's also the 10, 20, 30 method, but I like the 10, 20, 40 method because it works much more better and efficiently in my opinion. Now, if you look at these special cards right here, make sure you set it to special card 10, 20, 40, like I've said. And again, just like the other previous methods, look for the open bids. So you want to look for teams or sorry, players that are actually uh, in bid wars right now. So as you can see right here, I just passed that Lecompte or the Nacho Monreal, which looks pretty good at 14, 5, not going to lie. Let's go ahead and see some other players, popular players like Brozovic as well. If you go ahead and see these 84 rated players, they're not only great for trading, but also for investing because usually you can get these 84 rated in forms for around 12,000 right there, as you can see for Lecompte. But later on, I guarantee you guys in a week or two, they'll be worth 40, maybe 30,000 coins, depending on their demand and how popular that they are in that position. So I'll be showing you guys the transfer targets here that I've just missed out on some of the deals such as Brozovic for 14.5 with the shadow camp style. Let's go ahead and check out how much Brozovic with the camp style is right now. So Brozovic in form with the shadow camp style would probably be going for a lot because he is originally a CDM I believe so. So as you can see right there, he goes for around 16,500 or 17,000 coins. So if I were able to actually pick up that Brozovic for 14,000 coins, I'll be making 2,200 or 2,500 after taxes. And this again, like I've said at the start of the video, it is a little bit of a grind to do this method. But if you don't have any SPCs and you're just trying to make coins, this is the best possible way in my opinion. And I'm trying to give you guys a pretty straightforward different methods that you guys can rinse and repeat and do differently instead of 
of giving you one specific method and you guys can keep doing that because you just end up getting bored of the game anyways. Now let's move on to the next method here. After you do that, you'll be sitting around 50 to 60,000 coins. Now with that 60,000 coins, I recommend you guys just go into an online draft. Now this is where it'll get a little bit difficult as now you have to like really put your FIFA skills to the test and try getting the win in foot draft. Now I know a lot of you as well as myself don't have the capability to always win the foot draft. So if you guys can grind and just sweat it out to get at least to the third round, you'll be making your coins back at minimum and I'm pretty sure about that. I'll give it like an 80 to 85% chance that you'll be making your coins back at least. And if not, you'll be losing out at 2000 coins, which won't hurt your budget at all. And worst case scenario, you know, that's what's gonna happen. But the best case scenario is obviously you go ahead and win four in a row and get the 20 to 30,000 coins profit, which will probably get you to already around 100,000 coins. But realistically, you're probably not gonna make that much coins av after like losing or winning the draft so now I'll be sitting at around 30 40 thousand coins profit so in total you'll be at 70 to 75 thousand coins now with your total of 75 thousand coins what you can then go ahead and do is this is why I specifically said at the start of the video to go ahead and start this method at nearing the end of Tuesday towards Wednesday because the new team of the week is gonna come out now during this time, what I recommend you guys to do is look at the current team of the week whenever you're at at the point of the game and look for teams or players, sorry, that are very popular in specific leagues that are very investable. Now, as of right now, October uh, 8th, I am actually seeing that there's some meta cards right here like Mares, Santi Cazorla, Zapata, and Didi especially, and Havertz. Those players are very good looking especially. And uh, look at players that are very cheap. So as you can see right here, Strakosha is an 84 rated goalkeeper from the Syria. There's not a lot of goalkeepers that are as tall as him in the Syria. And also he has very, very good looking stats. If you can go ahead and pick him up right there for like 12,500 coins on bid very easily, you can go ahead and pick him up. And when the weekend league starts on Friday, you can go ahead and list him up. And there you go, you're gonna be making some coins. So it, again, it does take around a little bit of time. That's why I say hold on to these vestments. And after 48 hours, they will slowly start to rise when the new team of the week comes out. Now we're gonna go on to the next method right here is go under the popular player section in Footbin. Again, I left a link down below in the description. You guys can go ahead and check that out right there. And use some of the chem styles maybe that you have inside your club or position modifiers. And now this time you're gonna be doing the position modifier trading method right here. So what that means is you're gonna look at players that are very popular in their position. Now for example, right here, I'm gonna pull up some popular players. So as of right now, Wakut, Adama Traore, Dembele, Langlet. So you're gonna be sitting around 70 to 80,000 coins. So maybe you have something in that price range, such as maybe Rashford, maybe Mendy, or not Mendy because that's left back. Try looking for attackers that are maybe put into CDM or something, because that goes for a lot of coinage right there. So as you can see right here, for example, we're gonna use Rashford. Now you're gonna be sitting at around 80,000 coins, 75. So that's how much Rashford's price is, around 80, 85,000 coins. Let's see how much he is on the market really quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and put his price range to 80. Okay, so he's around 86,000 coins right here. And that's how much his price is, right? So you wanna look for someone that's a little bit under your price range and how much you have, right? So let's go ahead and see how much his cheapest CDM card is because that's what some people might be looking into. So as you can see, his cheapest CDM card goes for around 90,000 coins. So if you have some position changes in your club, some probably are untradeable. I highly recommend you guys to check that out because if you get some of these position change modifiers and you put it on these popular players and relist them, you'll be making a good three to 4,000 coins per card. Now that'll easily make you around 20,000 coins profit after selling three or four meta players. Again, just check out footbin.com and check out the most popular players people are buying and selling at the time and try choosing players that are under your price range and that should be sitting, uh, making you sit at a comfortable 80,000 coins. And now after that, this again, the next method is to go again into the online draft and try winning the draft this time again. And if not, you'll be making around five to 10,000 coins profit and that's not bad at all. And after that, you'll be sitting around 80 to 90,000 coins again. Maybe you lost in the draft, so you're still stuck at where you are, which is 80,000 coins. And the last step is probably the hardest step 
in the day's video and that is actually sniping. Now what I first recommend you guys do if you're playing on console, plug in your controller and make sure that it is wired because you want to get no latency when you're doing this. Now look at some popular players again. This is why the popular player section under footbin is very very helpful for today's video especially. Look for popular players that people are trying to buy. I've talked about this guy in one of my recent videos known as Renzo Servara or Seravia. Yeah, I can't even read anything but okay so uh, Seravia's price goes for around three to four thousand coins so let's go ahead and see how much he is yeah his cheapest is four thousand coins now we're just gonna try making one thousand coins profit on this card so let's go ahead and see if i can actually go ahead and snipe one of these uh renzo seravias oh okay guys so i just missed out 2.6k on the seravia right here but uh, I would have made around 2,000 coins profit. I was able to snipe that. But it didn't take me that long to find one of these cards. And again, don't you don't need to necessarily use the same card that I've used here. Just use the popular section right there. And in your price range, try finding these players that can get you a little bit of profit. Again, it is 5% EA tax. So try finding someone that can at least make you some profit even after EA tax right there. So after that, you'll be sitting at around 90,000 coins, 100,000 coins if you've been sniping for long enough and that should be getting you at your coin total now again like i've said at the start of the video this is a rinse and repeat method and it isn't easy to do when it'll take you upwards of 48 hours to complete but if there isn't any spcs out which i'm not wouldn't be surprised if you don't release spcs during the middle of the year as they do every day but uh, again that's been it for today's video hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you guys have any questions comments or concerns be sure to leave it down below in the comment section now that's been it for today's video it's been a bonus i'll be catching you guys in my next video peace out